Mary and Meghan Markle are the gift that keeps on giving. Now everything makes sense why they were with, uh, they went at the invitation of Paramount for two reasons. Harry got paid quite a lot of money and let's not forget that he has to pay almost a million dollars for that court case he lost. But the number two reason is going to blow your mind. I'm going to tell it to you right here because from a very good source who was at this dinner, oh, it's just awful, awful. And is the buzz right now among their acquaintances of Netflix and everybody around because apparently Tyler put a stop to the free use of their, of his airplane. <gasps> the shock and horror. I've been working since I was 17 years old. All my life I've worked. So to me, I don't understand how people cannot work. I mean, I, I worked as a waitress, bartender, anything that you can think of when I was young, putting myself through university. So I know what it is like to work from a very young age. I do not understand how, well, I can understand Harry who had never need, who has never needed to work and doesn't understand the concept of, uh, I'm trying to get the right word. He doesn't understand the concept of boundaries, boundaries. Because he's so used to all his life that, oh, it's Prince Harry. So Courtney Cox, her home is there. It's Prince Harry. The White House doors are open. This is when he was a working royal. It's Prince Harry. Obama is going to give him his first interview out of when he finished being a, a president of the United States officially. Because <laughs> we know he's still behind it. But that's another topic. So Harry's used to that. You remember that thing in Texas, guys, as, or in Vegas when he went and he partied and he got caught and and he's, he went with all his buddies and he spent over $60,000 for that weekend alone. And guess what? He didn't have to pay anything. It was comped. Everything. I mean, people have been lending him private planes, free homes, free this, free that. So it is a shock to him that now... Things are, he's getting an answer. No is the answer he's getting or just complete radio silence. From a very good source, I can't tell you this person's name, but it's a very good source who was at this dinner party. Apparently, Harry and Meghan went to one of the Netflix top executives to brainstorm about what to do for Netflix right? The aviation thing, uh, the Invictus thing. So there were brainstorming ideas and they went to this person's beach house. Okay. It was a mansion, obviously, right? And uh, Megan cozied up to this particular exec lady executive because of course she's a multi-millionaire in over, we're talking hundreds of millions of dollars here, if not a billionaire. And she cozied up and and then Megan asked the lady, you know, the lady was saying, this is my beach house, blah, blah, blah. And then Megan, right there in front of everybody, asked her if she could use, if she could lend them the beach house. The lady was placed on the spot, was put on the spot, you know, and she did, you know, out of polite because she's in front of everybody. This is a dinner party. After they were brainstorming all day, they, they held a dinner party. And she's right there and there. Megan cozy it up to this woman, just all on top of this woman. And she put her right on this spot if she could borrow, if they, you know, if they could come and spend some time at the beach house in Malibu. So the lady who was put on the spot said, sure, of course. But she never in a million years thought that they would actually do it. What is worse, they found out, of course they knew she had a private plane. So what Meghan Markle did is she had Harry phone this lady later 
asking her if he could use to lend, not if he, to lend them their pri her private plane because they needed to go someplace uh, and they didn't want to drive the two hours or three, four hours that it took. This lady's a high executive from Netflix. I think it's one of the highest or is married to one of the highest executives of Netflix. And the lady said, no, I'm sorry. You know, we don't do that for insurance purposes. Those are the kind of grifters we're talking about here. Megan ingrati ingratiated herself to this lady because she knew who she was. And in order to be able to borrow her home, her beach home, and then has Harry phone and asked to borrow their plane. And of course, they don't pay for the gas or any of the expenses. That's all on the people who are who own the plane so and they should be honored so apparently there was a little bit of a disagreement where because Megan felt slighted that this lady refused to lend them their plane at no cost or well at all cost to the lady who owns the plane so they can ferry Megan back and forth and they also have gotten a reputation because they say that they're gonna borrow a plane to go to some place and then they end up using that plane hopping other places as well which is you know Harry and Megan don't understand that there's a lot of insurance every time you take a flight it's insurance purposes and there has to be flight logs people have to pay for the for the pilot you know I don't know if you have flight attendants the fuel the insurance for every trip there is yes yes so can you imagine this this thing and this is why apparently Megan was so furious that this lady didn't see that she was being honored by having to pay for Megan Markle by lending her her plane and having to pay for all the expenses it meant so Meghan Markle and Harry didn't, don't have to drive two and a half, three and a half hours, I don't know how many hours, to the place inside the United States that they wanted to go to. And that's one of the reasons why Meghan Markle is inching her way into Paramount because she's not feeling appreciated at Netflix. She's actually being made to work. And that movie, Meet Me at the Lake, is not making any strides. Nobody... They haven't been able to sign up a, a director because nobody wants to want work with Meghan Markle because she wants to co-direct. She wants to co-produce because, of course, she's Rachel Zane from Suits. She knows everything about the movie. She's an A-list a Hollywood star. How embarrassing, how low has Harry fallen? But isn't it amazing? That is the kind of level of grift that Hollywood is now being exposed to. And most of these people in Hollywood, they're all hardworking people. You know, they like worked as waiters, even when they were actors. Meghan Markle has never had to go through that. You know that fake story of her going through the door of the car? Because that's not true. Trevor Engelson was producing decent films making good money they were living a very nice life Meghan Markle used to love throwing dinner parties and stuff they you know whenever Trevor got a movie produced he would be flying it all over the place and taking Meghan Markle along with him but can you imagine the level of grift and this is why Meghan Markle now it was her way of paying them back and also because Harry got paid a lot of money to fly because right now he's a whore for sale. He needs one million bucks because it's not cheap. It is no, let me rephrase that. It is very expensive to keep Megan looking that cheap. <laughs> and the kids, where are the kids? Oh, can you imagine how embarrassing? This is, this is it, this is embarrassing. Before people used to offer Harry stuff. Now people are shutting him down and he's phoning people. Megan has them phone because she knows she knows nobody takes her calls. She knows nobody takes her calls. Oh, how embarrassing. What do you guys think?